Good morning, class. Who's ready for a pop quiz? Okay, that's the spirit. Can anyone tell me what FUTA is? It stands for Federal Unemployment Tax Act. Now, FUTA, along with state unemployment systems, provide for payments of unemployment compensation to workers who have lost their jobs. And if you're looking to become a business owner after passing this class, take note. As an employer, you are responsible for paying food tax. It isn't withheld from the employee's wages, and most employers pay both state and federal unemployment taxes. Now, are there any guidelines? I hear you ask. Of course. We've got to have some guidelines, such as which employers are responsible for paying this tax. In general, if you pay your employees more than $1,500 in a calendar quarter, and you had employees for some part of a day in each of 20 weeks for this year or last year, you'll be subject to food attacks. That is basically everyone who has an employee. Now, figuring food attacks can be a little tricky, but I'll do my best to explain it. If you still have questions afterwards, ask them in the comments section, starting with the phrase, food a question, and I'll be sure to stick around after class to answer it. Now, in 2021, the FUTA tax rate was 6%. This tax applies to the first $7,000 you pay to each employee as wages during the year. That $7,000 is called the federal wage base. Your state wage base may be different. Generally, you can take a credit against your food tax for the amounts you paid into the state unemployment funds. The credit may be as much as 5.4% of the FUTA's taxable wages. If you're entitled to the maximum 5.4% credit, the FUTA tax rate after the credit is 6 tenths of 1%. Now, you're entitled to the maximum credit if you paid your state unemployment taxes in full, on time, and on all the same wages that are subject to food tax. Now, here comes the fun part, depositing food tax. For deposit purposes, calculate food tax quarterly. Determine your food tax liability by multiplying the amount of taxable wages paid during the quarter by six tenths of 1%. Stop depositing food tax on an employer's wages when he or she reaches $7,000 in taxable wages for the calendar year. Finally, when you're reporting food tax, you're going to use a Form 940 and file that form 940 by January 31st of the year following your payroll calendar year. So, for 2021 payroll, the form 940 must be filed by January 31st, 2022. You can also file this form electronically using a form 940 e-file if you prefer. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about food attacks or the payroll process in general, please visit our website, getpayroll.com. And we'll see you for the next lesson. Thanks for listening.